Okay, what's up guys? Um, really quickly, I just wanted to share with you. This is about to be super informal, so don't judge me for the mess. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys really quickly uh, my closet layout because you guys know I have four kids um, and three of them share a room together. All the boys share a room, but all four kids have their clothes in this one closet. So um, I'm going to reveal it to you. It's really nothing like super serious. And I thought about cleaning it so it could look all nice for the presentation, but I'm sorry, that's just unrealistic. So hiding is overrated, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what I've done. I bought this um, storage unit from um, Wayfair actually, wayfair.com. And I think it was like $75. And then the bins I got from Walmart because the ones on Wayfair were like ridiculously expensive. So I got these for I think like six or seven dollars a piece. So what I did was just color coordinate. Um, this is Abigail's stuff. And down here, the orange ones are Eli's um, things. So for Abigail, I have things split up each bin. It's pajamas, shirts, pants, and then like dresses and outfits. Um, and this is all she's in six to nine month clothes right now so that's that and then in here I have all of her socks and her hair bows um, and bibs and then in here I have like all of her blankets um, and whatever else is for her <laughs> whatever else is for her up underneath here stuff just kind of gets thrown like this is Eli's jacket a couple of pictures that they knocked off the wall Sorry, but that's just life. <laughs> um, down here, I have Eli's things separated into um, socks and underwears in one drawer, pajamas, shirts, and then pants. Um, and so I put his down at the bottom because that way he's actually able to um, get dressed and get his own clothes for the day. So that it makes it easier on me. Um, and I did have them labeled. Like you can see, there's one label here. Um, I had all of them labeled, but I got the labels from the dollar store, <laughs> so they didn't stay, or they, or the kids just pulled them off. Um, on this side of the closet, I have, these are Nathaniel's clothes, and I have his split up from, with his pajamas in one drawer, and then all of his shirts and pants in another drawer. Um, he's almost two so his clothes are still fairly small and he just wears like a t-shirt and pants every day So it's really not that big of a deal for me to have everything mixed um, And then down here this storage unit is just like a basic um, Storage thing that we got before we even moved to Canada, so I don't remember where we got it from um, But same with Josiah his is socks and underwear in one drawer pajamas shirts and then all of his pants are down here um, I have two of these little bins that I got from Wally World. So one has socks um, in it, and then the other one has like bibs and whatever else like that Nathaniel was using when he was a baby. Um, he's drooling a lot less, thankfully. But even when he did drool, he didn't use a lot of bibs, but I do still have a whole bunch left over. So we'll probably get rid of those soon before we move. Um, and then this little convenient space right here is for jackets. So um, I have some of Abigail's jackets, some of Josiah's like hoodies and like windbreakers, things that um, he wore in the fall or that he'll be able to fit in the spring or stuff that they can just kind of play and pull down whenever they want. Um, and then let's see, I did buy, I don't know if you can see it. I bought this shoe organizer. I don't know why, I just figured it would fill this little void that's right here. Um, and so that, so that they don't like come in here and play. Um, I've never used it for shoes though, unless it's Abigail's shoes. So like you can see, she's got a pair of flip flops in here. So what I started doing because um, Eli has like regular day clothes and then he had a lot of like button up shirts what i was doing was just rolling his kind of dressier shirts and putting them here um because that's the stuff that they have for church and and all that type of stuff so he doesn't wear those too often only once a week um and yeah that's about it up here at the top 
is just um, this is a thing of like stickers and puzzles and activities and then all their books and stuff are here um, so yeah Abigail hi sweet girl so that's about it for the closet um, it this system works for us fine um, Josiah and Eli since they're five and three they can get dressed on their own um, and they can they're pretty good about picking their clothes out. The only thing that's inconvenient is sometimes their clothes get on the floor. Even though they're clean, they'll end up in their dirty clothes basket. So I just kind of check the dirty clothes basket every now and then and just see, you know, if there's clean clothes in there. Um, and then I always get Nathaniel and Abigail's clothes because I get them dressed every day. Did you just... Really? So um, that's it. I know this will probably change um, once we get into our new house. Um, the setup might look a little bit different. So I will definitely be sure to update you guys once we get there. Life with four children in a small house is no joke, but we are handling it well. And honestly, I really wouldn't want them to have their own spaces anyway, because then that just accumulates a whole bunch of stuff that we don't really need. So this actually helps to keep all the clutter down for the most part. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.